Welcome in, Chris, owner of Onyx. Kicking things off, how did Onyx come to be? Well, in the end, uh, I think it's a, it's a typical question. We are a bunch of people who love esports, who have played uh, computer games for, for a long time. For example, I personally played uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 back in the days uh, on a semi-professional level yeah, in, in Germany. Uh, but yeah, this is what brought us together. And uh, we have experience in managing esports organizations from the past. So a couple of people from us are doing it since 2017. And uh, now we collected as a group, started Onyx at the beginning of the year um and said okay so far we were mostly on on the national levels but now we want to do something international european wide or maybe even worldwide and this is how things got kicked off wow that's amazing when onyx was formed uh were there any goals that you set in in your minds to achieve was it just you know uh, you know uh one or two teams or was it just like let's go big and you know go international sort of deal uh, um Actually, the idea was growing, growing the more we have talked about it. So first we were thinking about, okay, we, we start something small local again, but then when our founding group got bigger, uh, then we thought, like, okay, maybe we can we can go one step further. And now we are in our minds, we're like, uh, go full ham <laughs> on, on, on this actually, and looking forward uh, to, yeah, to, to, to conquer the world. Um, but uh, there's, of course, much more to us. So our background, how we have worked with esports is really mostly in scouting and developing actually young talents, younger people to help them build up a name um, for themselves. So this is where we, we started with. And I think this is something what we still have in our core and what's very important to us. Um, so we are looking like for the for the small gems, I would say, and uh, and try to, to, to help them to build a reputation for them. Now, on that note, CCL is not your first endeavor with Onyx. Uh, you recently acquired a CSGO team. Do you plan to bring any of the staff into the CCL side, or do you plan to grow a whole new staff around CCL? Um, I think we really need, I, I really honestly need to say we need help from the outside. So we have a couple of people we're speaking to who are very familiar with the Heroes of the Storm uh, community and environment uh, from, from the European space. Um, but I will be mostly available for uh, for Onyx on on the or for the Heroes of the Storm side from from management perspective. But we we definitely need more input uh, from from people who are in the community. I'm playing Heroes of the Storm since the beta actually, but not very well. So I think my my best uh, my best placement was was platinum or something like this. So I will stick to the management side, I guess. <laughs> Hey, I mean, that's that's why I'm a caster. <laughs> but I mean, looking back at season one of CCL in, in you know, just the amazing, just it's, I can't stop saying amazing, but it really was such an amazing season. When you start to build your list of players for draft day on April 17th, are there any is there anything you're looking for in those players? Um, like I said, mostly we have our experience in in developing younger people uh, but i wouldn't limit ourselves to that so all the people who are part of the draft are skilled players uh, with the requirements the league is putting in um so this is really something where i need uh, and like i said we need to get uh, some help on board it with who is more in the community right now because yeah to, to say also we we aren't that deeply integrated in the community what we want to change but we aren't right now so we are definitely going to need some help there uh, to find the right people for the team and and whom we're going to invite to to the scouting um but i'm very sure that with our experience we we are good to do that we are actually quite good with data analysis so mm. i hope that we can get a little advantage out of that from our uh, professional uh work and um, I, I think we can get something, I'm pretty sure that we can get a good team on, on board then in the end. On the note of this, you know, players, you're looking for players for scouting and all of that, um, is there anything the players can do to get Onyx attention, whether it be sending you highlight reels, sending you matches from in-houses, sending, just DMing you? What, what's the best way for players to really kind of <laughs> get in, in, your, in your eyes? Yeah, I think the, the easiest way to contact us right now is actually uh, over Twitter or, or over Discord. Um, I'm pretty sure we can put my Discord handle somewhere mm -hmm. uh, right now because we just launched in, in February. Our website is still under development, uh, so there's not an easy way to contact us there. Uh, but how to, to make a good impression to us is uh, one of our main slogans is uh, uh, that companionship is over championships for us. So it's really on, on the human level. Uh, we really want to, yeah, to build an own community inside the community. Um, so this is really something that... Uh, the human-to-human -human level is very important to us. And uh, 
we need to see how it is with uh, with CCN in the future. I I seen that there were some uh, some forces to release people from the rosters, which is an interesting step, I think. Um, but uh, mostly we are looking at least to the to the medium time frame, not even uh, mostly to the longer time frame. Hmm. So it is it's why the human aspect is so important to us um, because we really plan to work on on a long time with people and to to, to develop. Uh, a relationship because I think the, the most important times in, in life which is fulfillment relationship trust those are things which just take time to develop you can't just have it from from the beginning so I think this is uh, an advantage of our thinking which is um, maybe in other spaces in esports where lots of switching lots of transfers are happening mm -hmm. I think this this can bring you really in a valuable advantage position no, that's really, really cool. Uh, as we, you know, transition into the season two, it's not too far away, it feels. Is there anything that you're excited about? Is it draft day? Is it that first day of matches? Is it the, <laughs> the grand finals? Uh, anything that yeah, you're yeah. kind of just like itching to get to? Um, I think it's really when when the announcement is out, which is for the people who are seeing this right now. Um, I think this is the first very ex uh, exciting step for us. Um, then I think really the, the scouting part will be difficult. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that we are handling it good. So this will be maybe the, the little bit more stressful part, I would say, because uh, it's a little bit new of a, a new environment to us. Mm -hmm. But I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure we can handle it well. And then I think all the excitement uh, will be released in, in, in joy when the first game day is happening. Uh, I really like the draft idea. I, I watched the draft of the first season. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a big sports fan like NFL and, and NBA, so I really like the draft system. Um, so I think this is a really, really cool idea. But yeah, of course, we hope that we are making it to the finals. But uh, I think right now it's, it's way too early to, to make any suggestion if this is possible or not. But like I said, it's, it's, to be honest, it's not, the, it's, it's not our, yeah, it's not a must have for us to, to mm -hmm. win this thing in the first season. It's really about meeting great people, hopefully mostly building a firm base on which we hopefully can continue to build on and during the next seasons. Yeah, Onyx right now is going to rival Wildheart for probably the most wholesome organization out there. You are just so very nice. Um, and as we kind of wrap up this interview, I just wanted to give you the opportunity. Are there any closing thoughts you have or words you'd like to share with the community? Um, I guess I will I will continue with the, the wholesome train, which you <laughs> directed to me. It's really the only thing I want to, to say to the community. We are new. Give us a chance to be part of it, and we will not disappoint you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris, owner of Onyx. We look forward to seeing you in season two of CCL. You have a wonderful night and thank you for joining us for this little interview. Thank you for having me. Hopefully speak again soon.